So now since you have installed the software, you must be very eager to learn and start creating your dashboards in Grafana. But before we move ahead, it's good that we have a basic understanding of Grafana user interface. So this is the home page. This is how it looks like uh, when you install Grafana and open Grafana for the first time. This is how home page is going to look like. Now all you see here is just panels. Though it looks like beautifully created website, though it looks like probably very beautiful created blog site, but it really is panels. So in Grafana dashboards, uh, whenever we create a dashboard, dashboard is nothing but combination of different panels. So I'm going to show you how we can create all of these panels in our upcoming lessons. But for now, you just need to understand that all of these options which you see, all of these are uh, different panels which has been created and put here. So now on the left side we have home icon so it doesn't matter whichever option you are on you can just click here and then you are going to come back to this home page and then just below that we have search dashboard option so you can click on search dashboard option and then let's say uh, once you start working in the project you may have some 20 or 50 or hundreds of dashboards depending on the project to project and in that case you are going to have a long list of top dashboards or folders which have been which have been organized here and in sometimes it becomes difficult to search for the dashboard which you are looking for in that case you can just uh, give the name of you know some keyword and it is going to show show you all the relevant dashboard here so we are going to look uh, look back to it probably in future but for now you just need to remember this is going to give you option of searching the dashboard and then the next icon is very powerful icon which we are going to use very frequently so this option is about creating the dashboard so we are going to click on plus then we are going to click on, on dashboard or we are going to click on folder or we are going to click on import there are three options for various reasons so if i click on dashboard in that case you see i come to this page and here i have option of creating panels and then i can add different panels here which is going to eventually going to make up a dashboard so here for example you can see i can click on add a panel and then once i click on add a panel i come here to edit panel option where i have option of selecting a uh, different type of visualization option and then i can you know change the queries and so on and then i can click on save or apply and then I can give the name to this dashboard so I'm just going to click on save for now and you see this we have created a panel okay this is called a panel which currently have no data because we didn't write any query we didn't give any data sources but this is how a panel looks like so you can uh, adjust the panel so for example if I want to resize it I can do that if I just want to you know wh uh, whichever way I just want to resize I can do that if you just want to uh, create multiple panels you can do that in this case for example i'm just going to duplicate this panel i'm going to show you you can have panels of different sizes so for example one panel can have can be a, of smaller size the other panel can be of a longer size so depending on the type of data or depending on the type of graph or bar chart or whatever you are showing you can adjust these panels so all of these options comes when you go to plus and you click on dashboard so for now i'm just going to I'm just going to click on save dashboard and this is just an empty dashboard we are just going to save it for the sake of saving it and then second option which we have is called folder I'm just going to click on folder and going to show you that once we select on folder we we get this option okay so this is saying manage dashboards and folders so if I click here on manage you are going to see this dashboard so this is a dashboard which we just created which is an empty uh, dashboard it just has a couple of empty panels it doesn't really have much but once you have all the all the dashboards all uh, then it is going to basically show up here you can organize uh, dashboards in different folders so for example this folder is called a general folder and this dashboard is part of this general folder now i may go on uh, click on new folder and i can move this dashboard to that new folder so you basically uh, organize all your dashboards in different folders so for example let's say i'm going to create a report for finance team then in that case i'm just going to click on finance and going to create a folder and then uh, so yeah I'm, I'm not really going to now create a dashboard let's just click uh, click on dashboard again and you can see that here we have a folder which is called finance and if i just click on uh, I, if i just uh, select go to folder in that case we are going to move inside this finance folder that's what uh, that's where we were so i just selected dashboard and came one step behind 
Now, if you want to move this, uh, this little dashboard, whatever we have created, if you want to move it to this folder, you can do that. Just select it and uh, click on move. And then it is going to ask you whether you want, where you want to move it to. So for example, if I want to move it to finance, I can do those stuff. Okay. So this, these are the kind of options which we have. Or if you want to just delete a folder so for example this is general folder i want to just select it i'm just going to expand it and going to select it and then uh, we are going to get an option to delete it so i'm just going to delete it click on delete and now this is gone okay so it says uh, everything is deleted that's all we need to know uh, in this option as of now and then now we are going to uh, click on plus again and then we are going to select import so using import we can import any dashboard which is let's say created in Grafana on any other environment. So in a, in typically in production environment or typically in any project which you are working on, you are going to have a development environment, then you are going to have a QT environment, a quality or SIT environment, whatever you call it. And then you are going to have production environment. So initially you are probably going to create all the dashboard in development environment, and then you want to migrate or promote those dashboards to production environment. So what you do is you export uh, all the dashboards and then you import those dashboard here in this production environment if this is a production environment. Okay, so this option is going to help you uh, import different dashboards created in uh, any environment which you want to bring it here in this environment. So we are going to use it a lot. We are going to uh, probably, you know, going to use some of the dashboard which is available open source. We are just going to copy that and going to import it here and going to get some inspiration from that. Okay, so that's all it does. Now the next option which we have is uh, called dashboard. So if I click here on dashboard, it is going to bring me to this option, which is home page. And then if I click on manage, uh, this is the same option which I came on. So for example, initially we, we selected plus and then we clicked on folder. And then after folder, we had to click on manage to go to manage option. Now, if you just want to directly jump onto manage option, you can just go to a dashboard click on manage and you are directly going to end up here so uh, that's all in this option all others is not required for now we are going to learn it when we really need it and the third option is explore uh, this i'm going to tell you later for now you don't really need to bother about this one so next option is alerting alerting is useful when we want to create notifications so for example let's say you want to uh, create uh, telegram notification or email notification in that case we are going to use these alerting rules or we are going to use notification channels uh, for now i'm just going to show you how it looks like this is how alerting windows looks like and then we are going to click on notification channel this is how it is going to look like we can cl uh, click on add channel and we are going to have an option of adding any sort of notification uh, you know uh, settings or configuration related things here here you can select uh, whichever notification channel which you want to select so you see we have an option of sending email alert we have option of sending uh, so many different types of alerts you name it we have it so i'm just going to go back uh, go back to configuration and in configuration we have various options we have data sources so if i click on data sources you see we have to we have option of adding different data sources so you can add Prometheus, you can uh, click on add data source and you can use any of the available data sources. So for example, here you can see you can have MySQL as a data source, you can have PostgreSQL as a data source, or you can have and many other options as well as data source. Some of those are enterprise plugins, which means if you want to use it, uh, you have to uh, buy it, but most of them are available as open source as well. Now I'm going to show you other option, which is users. So if you click on users, you have a option of creating uh, users and you can give permission to users you can have different uh, permission for different users by default admin user is already created which is having a role of admin you can go ahead and create other users and give them different permissions so for example you created a beautiful dashboard and you don't want anyone to screw it so you just give uh, read only permission or you just give view permission and then that guy is going to have only view permission on that dashboard let's move on uh, we are going to come here uh, later and for now we let's we just understand that here we can create users now we have option of teams so teams is more like group which you can create uh, we don't need all of these uh, to know in more detail we just you know whatever we are going to do we are going to do inside dashboard uh, but you need to know that yeah you have control of creating different users and also 
also there is option of API keys. So if you want to manage Grafana programmatically, so for example, let's say if you want to create Fana user without even uh, you know logging to Grafana, or you want to create Grafana user by using Python program, you want to use REST APIs, or you want to uh, create dashboards programmatically. So you can do those kind of things in Grafana. You and for that reason, you have to have you have to use a API key for authentication. And this is the place where you generate those API keys. So again, uh, we don't need it for now. Next option which we have is server admin. So you can click on server admin and you have option of let's click here on server admin and uh, you see we have different tabs and here also you can see the same tabs here okay so user tab is again showing users organization is uh, no longer needed and it is probably going to you know no longer be there in future so we don't need to learn it you can select on settings and you can see what is the default settings which is available in grafana so if you want to change any of these settings you have to make this uh, make these changes in grafana.ini configuration file from the server okay so i'm going to show it to you later on but this is the place where you can see all the default settings which are available uh, that's all we need to know in these options and whatever we are going to use more frequently i have already given you an overview of that now if you just uh, come down here at the bottom you can see this is a user icon which uh, which you can see here and this is your user icon you can change it and here we have option uh, we have several options as well we have option of preferences so under preferences uh, preferences i can change the name so for example uh, I can change the name here to my name and also if you want to change the uh, email ID you can change that you want to change the username go ahead and change it you want to change the preferences so for example if you do not like this uh, dark theme just go ahead click on light uh, theme and then it is going to change also if when you log in by default you see the default you know home page if you don't want to see that you want to change it go ahead and change it from here click on save and then you will see that this is going to change to light mode I don't really like right light mode because if if you are working for longer hours it's better to keep dark mode so i'm just going to change it back to dark mode going to save it and that's all that's all you need to know about preferences uh, you have an option of changing the password here so you can click on change password and then you can change your password if you think you are uh, you you are in a production environment and you are logging in with the default password then make sure after logging in for the first time you always change the password uh, because otherwise it is not secure now other option which we have here is sign out so i'm just going to click on sign out and we are going to log out from here okay so that's the option which we have so you know that's uh, pretty much about grafana user interface so you see how quick simple and easy it is everything is so straightforward and that is the power of grafana everything is so simple so beautiful and yet very powerful so that's all in this lesson see you again in the next lesson